five laps around Living Hill for semi-final number one of round seven of the Five Nations British Rallycross Championship. Waiting for the green lights to appear. And we are green light racing all three at the front. Get a very good start. Ollie O'Donovan gets a phenomenal first phase, but his second phase has led him down here ever so slightly as Jack Thorne does go up into the lead of this race. He has been so quick all weekend, and ultimately he is fast here once again. He takes the lead and up towards the devil's elbow. He's got Ollie O'Donovan just in behind. Look at Vitols, though. Vitols already up to P3. We know how quick this guy is. If he doesn't have any issues, he is... A world star in the making, in behind those. Seller makes a big mistake then, runs wide, and ultimately it's going to cost him a load of time. Heading then down in towards Paddock Bend we come. Jack Thorne though with Ollie O'Donovan and Vitols battling for position. It's been given a little bit of breathing room here to work with. Thorne then is indeed going to go through to turn number one. Look how late on the brakes Vitols is. And actually Ollie O'Donovan here might be in trouble in terms of P4. As they come then as Merge. Oh, a bit of a bit of a nudge there on the wall on the exit. It wasn't perfect from Ollie O'Donovan. And that may indeed be a problem moving on in this race. Who knows? He is going to be in P4 though. So all good. Vitols though, how close can he get to Thorne? How close can he get? One extra lap, remember, as to what we had in qualifying. Hill then down in P5 as it stands as well. But I tell you what, Thorne, who looked like he was going to go out and win the final yesterday so, so easily, as he was so, so super quick uh, throughout the whole day, ultimately just did not come into fruition. Here we go then, Vitols, who was behind Ollie O'Donovan before, indeed, they decided to do the Joker phase. And, oh, Vitols has absolutely smashed it here. But that would have been because of the contact with the wall. So remember that. Ollie O'Donovan had that contact with the wall on the exit of the Joker. And that's cost him now P2. Vitols then off up the hairy hill he will come and Thorne no doubt will have to come into the pits on lap number four we'll have to come through the Joker on lap number four to make sure that he covers off Vitol's advances through Paddock Bend once again Vitol's takes it so differently to everybody else he's so fast through there through that chicane he comes across the line he comes and here we go then will Jack Thorne have the lead or will Vitol's be up ahead he will not Thorne does hold that lead it's great driving from him and he is in the lead here Vitol's who does have a good car underneath him remember he has got magic in that engine for sure the team have done a sensational job just getting into the final he will have a chance but as it stands though Thorne has taken the momentum from the qualifying and the semi-finals yesterday into today he looks very very quick he is at the races for sure and as they come then down the hill once again there's one more lap to go as it stands then it's Thorne in P1 Vitols P2 Ollie O'Donovan then is in P3 we've then got Hill and Seller as your fourth and fifth as you see them sweeping up towards turn number one once again and they are as close as you would expect them I'm sure we're going to see these two fighting later on this afternoon but it is Thorne who has been again so, so fast this weekend. When he's on it, very difficult to stop. And Vitols again, who was the winner from round number six, already a winner here twice this season. And he was also the winner earlier on in the season at round number one. So for sure, has the pace here as we head then down in towards Paddock Bend. And you can see the aggression of Vitols is able to take through there. On the exit, you can see he's almost completely sideways. As they come through then that final chicane, it will be Thorne that will take P1. It will be P2 then for Vitols in P3. It will be Ollie O'Donovan. And then we've got in fourth position, Hill. In fifth spot, then it will be Michael Seller. Jack Thorne has booked his ticket to today's final.